12 12 12 333 gateway schumann whiteout merging timelines earthquakes erupting volcanoes the upcoming solstice and more on this month's mid-month energy report for patreon So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be across the planet, around the world. My name is Greg Prescott from In5D.com, and you're tuned in to another episode of our Patreon Mid-Month Energy Report for December 2019. Now, what I've been doing is I've been posting the first part of this energy report on YouTube, and that's what I'm doing right now. So got a lot of things I want to cover, but first, started making some uh, more t-shirts and since the last time this is something new we have ladies uh, fitted t-shirts as you can see it kind of cuts in goes out it's more form fitted for the ladies and uh, this one's an ice dye came out beautiful and here's another ice dye that came out for uh, a ladies t-shirt and then the unisex ones got this style my daughter came up with these color combinations uh, I loved it when she put it together uh, she was down here uh, the last five days and she put the burgundy with the yellow and you end up getting the pinks and the oranges that go along with it so I've got several sizes in that along with here's another ladies uh, cotton candy colored tie-dye so What's going on is I've actually has, have a Christmas special going on where you can uh, get $5 off any shirt. Just use the code right here. <laughs> M4UZMTR4 at N5D.net. And that's $5 off any shirt. I believe it's until the 20th of this month. And that includes shirts that are on sale. So let's get into it. Um, the first thing I'd like to talk about is the Schumann Whiteout. So let me go to this page right here. So on, well, let's go back because this is all this all ties in with one another. If you look here, this was on twelve twelve during the twelve 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 gateway. We had two whiteouts that happened on the Schumann. So I'm wondering, how did you guys feel? Uh, during the 12 12 12 gateway uh, did you feel like there was a lot of energy coming in did you not feel anything at all were you wiped out did you experience uh, light symptoms or heavy symptoms uh, a lot of people I'm, I'm reading everything across the board right now uh, and everybody's gonna take it differently so I'm really curious how you guys felt on the 12 12 12 slash 333 gateway comment below Right there uh, as you can see the following day there were two more whiteouts now if you look at the time between these on the 12th there were several hours in between these two whiteouts and then perhaps a quickening that was going on um, where they were pretty close together also look at the pattern that's going on here is it possible now for those who have been following the Schumann Resonance, we haven't seen this many whiteouts, especially whiteouts like this. Uh, traditionally, uh, going back you know, quite a ways, than we have in the past year or so, we're seeing whiteouts on a pretty much regular basis. And it got me thinking, what if these are coordinates, perhaps timelines, maybe this is the timeline that's being interjected or the the positive path of the timeline where we have that white light that comes in that many of us have either seen in our visions or dreams or and what if this is perhaps these lines right here parallel universes multiple you know different realities um, so we have different lines that are going on intersecting different parameters it's really interesting to look at and think about because everything is energy and 
as we've seen, a lot of things are, are going on that are proving that we're converging timelines, including you know, all these Mandela effects that we've experienced uh, throughout recent years. Now, I just saw another one for, it was a Christmas Mandela effect and it's naming the reindeer. Apparently there was no Donner, D-O-N-N-E-R. There is a Donder, Donder and Blitzen, but there's no Donner. I don't remember that. I don't recall ever there being a Donder <laughs> with a D, D-O-N-D-E-R. Uh, so I found that really interesting. There's a few more Mandela effects for Christmas, but I'm not going to cover, cover them here. That was the one that I found very interesting because we are talking about timelines converging right now and meeting. And, you know, ultimately we've gone into these two main timelines, which may have little subdivisions off of them. That'll either detract you away, but will probably bring you back no matter what you do. It's always going to steer you back onto these lines because that's how condensed things have gotten so far. And they're only going to continue. I just posted a video on my personal Facebook page of riots that are going on in France. And this ties in with Pluto and Capricorn, which if you've followed in 5D throughout the years, I've been talking about this for years. Pluto entered Capricorn in 2008, right on schedule. We saw a banking collapse of all the too big to fail slash jail banks. And uh, we saw the housing bubble burst. We've seen a lot of things go on right on schedule in 2008. And as I predicted right off the bat, I said, you will see a collapse of money, government and religion. Now, the last time Pluto was in Capricorn was in the 1800s during both the French and American revolutions, French and American revolutions. France is revolting right now here in the United States. We have what's being called the Great Awakening. So it's not a coincidence. Nothing, none of this is happening by coincidence at all. And Pluto stays in Capricorn until 2023. So here we are approaching 2020 and the truth vibration is just skyrocketing. The truth is coming out no matter how hard those in the cabal try to keep us down, no matter how hard they try, we are going to win. We've already won. So it's really important that you continue to focus on that which you wish to create, the new earth, 5D earth. Uh, and don't pay as much attention to uh, the news, anything negative. Uh, keep your positive thoughts going forward and uh, don't allow the negativity to overcome you because ultimately that's what they're trying to get. You know, idolizing uh, these movie stars and celebrities that sing, uh, musicians and stuff like that, these popular ones that have already signed their souls away. That's the last thing you want to do is listen to these clowns that don't have your best interests at heart. So, well, that was a lot <laughs> for the Schumann resonance. Uh, look forward, I look forward to this continuing, seeing patterns of more and more whiteouts as as we go further into these energies. Now, keep in mind too, you know, since the late, probably 1980s, some of you might, might be too young to remember this, but the sun started going from yellow to white and it's now white. It's burning a whole new different energy. It's burning so hot right now. It's so, and, and with all these photons that are coming in from the photon belt, it's feeding into the sun and being transferred to us as well through the sun. So you got the photons going through the sun, the photons coming directly to us, creating all sorts of different energies that are going on. So it's, it's interfering with our sun, but it's also creating, helping to create part of the transformation. It's so many different things at once going on right now as, you know, consider the, you know, the Schumann resonance, the energy is being emitted from earth back out. Uh, the energies from uh, the galactic center and especially as we approach the winter solstice coming up yet another 333 or 12 12 12 
uh, solstice um, more likely a 333 because that'd be more of a 2-1 but reversed so it'd be another 333 gateway uh, coming up in about a week or so so all sorts of energies that are coming in stay in tune with them try to stay grounded as much as possible don't tune into the negativity and keep pushing forward with the positive uh, you are that beacon of light you are emitting and radiating that energy that the world needs to see and feel so if you're just tuning in my name is greg prescott from n5d.com and you're watching the patreon mid-month energy report for december 2019 and what we did was we just were we were just talking about the schumann resonance and how it spiked here now i've got some numbers in front of me when it peaked on 12 12 it also peaked at 74 hertz which is pretty high uh, so you can tell you know through the amount of hertz uh, energies that are coming in uh, how powerful these energies are and we also talked about the possibility of you know th these horizontal and vertical lines representing perhaps two different timelines or timelines merging here we see a, a bunch of vertical lines going across the screen it's a lot of possibilities now for some reason or another i've been going back to the information provided uh, by by Orion's Cube and uh, Project Looking Glass, where there are two divergent timelines going on, uh, timeline A and timeline B. Timeline B is a cataclysmic timeline where those who don't take part that are not involved with timeline A stay here on the Earth and go through all these cataclysmic changes that are occurring as we speak I'll be talking about this a little later on but right now there are over 1500 active volcanoes and 24 volcanoes that are currently erupting I'll be talking more about this on the patreon version of this energy report and the extended version so we have all these energy cataclysm, cataclysms that are happening um, on timeline B, but the majority of us will be going to timeline A, and that is the spiritual evolution timeline. When you look at a lot of people that are in movies and music, you see this satanistic um, agenda going on for example on twitter people like bet midler musician uh, rob reiner producer and actor i guess he was a meathead on all in the family they're pushing this this whacked out version of reality that not many people can align to and what is happening is they're they're involved with the the deep state the dark cabal satanistic agendas uh, they're tied into many of these people and i'm not saying definitively bet midler or rob reiner but many of these people in these circles are tied into pedophilia as well it's a horrendous horrendous um, cycle of evil and negativity if you look at like any of the recent Super Bowl halftime shows, you'll see a lot of this satanic uh, profiling going on, as well as in many of the current music videos. A lot of people, for example, Katy Perry, who was raised by uh, Christian parents. I believe both of her parents were pastors. Uh, she's already admitted, you know, that she basically sold her soul and she doesn't care about the consequences she's already chosen that path to be if you're watching this you have nothing to worry about okay we're all going to path a but that but it gives you an idea why we're seeing so much diversity going on a lot of negativity going on especially by the mainstream media who's trying to control our thoughts you know 
television is tell a lie vision <laughs> and it, it's all mind control basically you know it's reinforcing these thoughts within those who follow and basically these people are the false idols that we've been warned about so you know we have these two timelines we have the merging of timelines into basically two paths We've already chosen ours they've chosen theirs so don't put too much energy into what they're doing choose our path our energies focus on that new earth that we're creating the 5d earth that we're bringing to us focus on the love and the light okay what we see with these energies is we have all these energies coming in but we're not thinking about the energies that we're putting out because every one of us is a beacon of light every one of us has that ability to change the world around us just by thinking positive thoughts you could be walking in a mall seeing how the malls are empty and mainly filled with closed stores that you know thanks to Amazon uh, <laughs> But you, as an example, you could be walking in a mall and you're just thinking loving thoughts. You might look at someone and think, I love you. And that's all you have to do. That thought has to go somewhere, <laughs> right? It, you, you end up putting that energy out from within you. You become that beacon of light and love. I love you. I love you. Just say that to your, in your mind. Just walk, smile. Not at people. You can say hi, but in your mind you're saying, I love you. I do this on the beach. Oh, good morning. I love you. <laughs> that kind of thing. So put that out there. Um, it'll change the world. Okay. The last thing I want to talk about here on YouTube is are the energies that we are feeling as I mentioned earlier, not everyone is feeling the same thing. What many people are feeling may be subtle energies. For example, you might have an eye ache or a sty in your eye or you know, sniffles or sneeze a lot, headaches. But it could be intense energies that you're feeling. And instead of an eye ache or a headache, you're having migraines or flu-like symptoms. You know, it can, it can run this gamut of energy and ascension related symptoms that are going along with these energy intakes. Ultimately, what we're seeing and understanding is that many of these are due to DNA upgrades, especially feeling tired. On December 12th, I was hit hard. I had to go to sleep twice, one, one time late in the morning, and then probably about four or five hours later, I, you know, three or four o'clock or so, I took another nap. I was just hit really hard, and that's when we're getting these DNA upgrades is when we, when we sleep. So if you're being called to sleep, obviously if you're at work, you can't do that, but you know, if it's your weekend, don't feel badly that, oh, I'm, bl I'm wasting my weekend by sleeping no you're actually helping yourself through these upgrades um, to, to help your dna evolve further and you're helping yourself spiritually grow as well so make sure that you do get your sleep in the last thing i want to mention is that i did stop doing the daily high pitch frequency reports i still pay attention to them and for those who are interested today's high pitch frequency is the f sharp which is the crown chakra and the heart chakra so if you're feeling any kind of you know maybe palpitations or exuding you know, un unconditional love for no reason whatsoever or feeling feeling a, a tingling sensation on your on your crown chakra or in your crown chakra area, that's why. So I'm gonna continue the rest of this on Patreon. I want to encourage you to stay here though on YouTube as I'll play the bumper music 
for an additional five or six minutes and we'll hang out and chat. If you have anything you want to ask me, you can ask me there. If you have any comments you'd like to leave, you can leave them right below this video. I'm curious how you guys felt during the 12, 12, 12, the 333 gateway uh, and what you um, expect perhaps upcoming with the winter solstice and our final 333 gateway of 2019. So until the next time, I'm sending you all infinite love and light. And for those watching on Patreon, let's keep going.